Everyone, let's get to the top flow of the day. But first, let's start with a big trade we had yesterday in the uh, live trading session yesterday at 3 to 4 p.m. Uh, we had an order put on around 3.30 of the Okta. Not okra. I know y'all love fried okra. I grow it a lot. But Okta. It's an internet uh, software name. We had a buyer yesterday of the weekly 84 puts over 200,000 worth. Shares down 18% today. Uh, they were down more than 20%. So those June 84 puts that I also bought, only two contracts, bought them at 259 and closed them out today at $11 this morning. Woo! <coughs> For a very nice trade, as you can see there in the P&L. So fantastic trade. But what are we seeing today? Palantir. Finally seeing some puts on this absolute animal of a chart. AI is down after earnings. We actually saw an AI put buyer. You went, hold on. You want to see something crazy because, you know, AI, Palantir, they're all in the same kind of camp. We saw some AI puts one minute. The weekly 34 puts one minute before the closing bell. And you can see this morning shares were about $30.5. But Palantir, we're seeing... And you can see they start buying these puts right around the high of the day, which is crazy to think. But uh, you know, these people have been good. The June 14 puts, and we saw some June 9th 14 and a half puts in Palantir. So someone looking for a decline in that uh, AI-related stock. MPW, we're seeing some September puts. We saw some next week puts last week, and the shares were down 3% this morning. Those puts went up about 100% overnight and 50% intraday yesterday from the live trading session. So uh, absolute phenomenal trading gang. Uh, we'll keep it up. There was some SoFi next week calls, you know, basically a momentum trade. Obviously SoFi has been breaking out to the upside, but uh, keep up the momentum. It has been a phenomenal uh, past few weeks in trading. And uh, I am looking for the market, although Friday we could see a, a short squeeze because the market does love to rally on short squeezes on Fridays. But I am looking for a little, um, I would say, digestion. You can see gold had a big rally today, and then uh, bonds had a nice rally today. So usually when gold and bonds rally, they're, they're more uh, safe havens, usually have a little pause, if not a sell-off, in uh, U.S. equities. So that's what I'm looking at, being very cautious, being very selective. Until manana, I'm out.